Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make walking FNAF doors. So let's get into it. First up, you're going to create a new sprite. And you're going to want to name this close button or open button. I do close first. And then we can get any type of button, anything you want. I'm just going to get this. And then we're going to duplicate it and, and then name this one open button. And if we can take this away, we're going to have that. So we have open button and close button. So the, the open button, I want to place right here. Then the close button, we're going to make it go to 44, and then 17. And we do need two buttons. So let's start out with the close button. So then, and if you actually, like, if you want to use this as a tutorial, on how to make a full one. Well, I'm just doing one if I just click show. Oops. And then we're gonna do one the spice clicked. We're gonna broadcast new message. Door close. And then when 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 that happens, we're gonna hide it. Now I usually had to go to back layer just because. And then this, we're just going to basically do the same code, but instead we're going to do one flag is clicked hide. And then we're going to broadcast a new message, door open. So then, look, we have two buttons. Don't do anything yet. So, yeah, so when I receive door open we're gonna show and we're gonna go to front but when i receive when i receive door closed we can't have that so yeah and then we're just gonna drag that in there and then when I receive door, when this space clicked, we're going to broadcast door open. We already have that. When I receive door open, we're going to hide. And then when I receive door closed, we're going to show. Wait. Yeah, so you need this close. So we need this code. Oops, I need to resource right. Then we're gonna make a actual door. Um, so you can use any color, anything you want. You can design it. I'm just going to do a simple gray door. And I'm gonna do one flag is clicked. Show. And then we're gonna do one flag is clicked. So we're just going to move the door there, and I'm going to make this. Okay, so now we have this, but then we need costumes of a door. Just make it go up or down. We can reverse the animation anyway. Um, so let's do that. So you can have any animation you want. You can have a sliding door. You don't have to have this type of animation. Okay, so I'm up and up. And then this costume. We're just going to delete. 
So, if you want it to start out as open, go ahead. Once I've clicked, switch caution to caution 11. So, when I see we're closed, we're going to have a repeat block. Repeat once. So, we're going to switch caution to, and you can make the animation. Wait once. Switch caution to caution one. And you can wait how many seconds. I'm going to do 0 0.01 seconds. And we can just do it like this. So we can get a code, the code. And so far, it should look like this. Now it does go really fast. Because, like, we didn't put that many cautions to switch to yet in the code. So it goes really fast. And we're getting get this, which caution caution six, caution seven, caution eight, caution nine, and we're gonna do caution and caution eleven. Boom. So when I receive door closed, it's gonna do that. And then we're gonna duplicate it when I receive door open. And we can just flop this animation around. Wait. Want it? This is the closed. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. I accidentally do a say When I see door closed, it's gonna. Yeah. And then. So I'm just going to. Seven, six, and five. The six is already there. Five, four, three, two, one. So we have two. So look, we have a working door. Yeah, it's actually pretty simple. Yeah, pretty basic code. Um, yeah, that's how you make a working door. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified every time I post a new video. And comment if this helped you. Bye!